to the stage is a gentleman that is amazing. He performed everywhere in New York City, train stations, on the corners, everywhere you can find this dude. I'm gonna call him to the stage. He go by the name of Mr. King Master. Put your hands together for Mr. King Master in the building. Yeah, yeah, how we doing? Right. Uh, it's a new day. It's a new day. Chill out. Chill out. Oh, it's got two L's on the chest. Last name should be cool, Jay. Shout out to the people. My name is Mr. King, master of spoken word. I perform everywhere throughout the city because it's very important for us to uh, spark the brain of the mind that's going to change the world. It may not be you, but you can help someone to do it. So just continue to feed that positive energy into the atmosphere, all right? This particular piece is titled Destiny. Many say that it was written, but I say you choose it. That's right. Don't confuse it. You are the captain of your life and the master of your soul. Don't mean to sound bold. I pay homage to my creator that gave me my soul. But with that, he created me in his image, and I have the power to choose. It's my choice to win or lose. I'm a winner, man. I'm going to eat so full with all those that ate that last dinner, man. It's in my plan. I follow mine to a T. I can't go wrong because the Son of God lives in me. My mind is sound. I'm aware of all people, places, and things that I'm around. I would never allow any opportunity to get the best of me. So yes, you are correct if you think my success is destiny. And as destiny had its way, my daughter Destiny was born. I still remember that day. And yes, God blessed me with a baby girl with my pretty brown eyes. Thank you, Father. Destiny will find her way. It says, Destiny's everything like her father. I know she'll make this world a better place. She's only two, but I can tell she's a leader already by the things she do. She's so cute. I look forward to seeing her in her business soon. I don't look forward to the day when I know somebody is rocking and knocking her boots. It's the truth. But if so, I hope he's like me, because it's Destiny for Destiny to reproduce. She'll see through her spiritual eye when she walk, articulate with a double-edged sword when she talk. Every beginning has an end, so she'll live her life to the fullest, and then she'll begin. Where life is eternal, there's no such thing as sin. So from a friend to a friend, make a decision today, choose to win, and again, you'll then create your own destiny. Thank you. All right, All right this, thank you, this right here, I'm addressing this, this letter to um, a particular group of people that I love so much. They black, that's why I love them. It's because of you that I got so much living to do. So I'm steady on pace, ready to create a new race, the universal mind. These black sheep let astray are going nowhere fast. Fast dash for the cash that won't last past the night they spend in the club, popping bub and tricking on some ass. Mr. You know what I mean? Mr. By any means, I'ma get mine. Mr. Saggy jeans, I can see your crap, but I ain't buying. You not a G, Mr. Wannabe. Need to stop trying. Stop lying to yourself. You need to find yourself. It's not at the end of that blunt or the bottom of that bottle or the end of the race chasing another black girl lost potential top model. Could be Miss Independent, but instead she's dependent on a nigga like you to stay by her side and remain true. And what do you do? Mr. Deadbeat Dad, I could never be you Having babies or leaving a grow up to be just like you Lost in a system without a dad You should have been a fag Mr. K, get it right, get your mind right Get your thinking out the gutter Show your sisters on the street the same love you show your mother And that got pan hunting on the train the same respect you show your brother Mr. Blood, Mr. Crip, Mr. Thug, Mr. Snitch Looking for love in all the wrong places Wanna be scar faces, catching court cases And turn to Mr. Bitch Stop whining and do your time for your crime, stop lying on the next man. He ain't say your head sell these rocks or your head bust these shots or your garbage rob as many people as you can. And who the fuck you think you are, Mr. Gingerbread Man? You missed a fool. You know you get caught. You give us this sob story like, no, I did it because I had to. Man, you did it and you was glad to. Now reap what you sow. If I was you, I'd be mad too. But you can't blame anything on anyone for the things that you do but you. So I'm addressing this letter to you because I love you, Mr. Black Man. Losing the change from your mind, then you can do your thing. Sing, dance, act, rap, whatever. Pursue your dreams. But what is it to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Life is 50 cent, isn't as glorious as it seems, you know what I mean? Cecilia yours, 
Mr. King. <laughs> Expanding my horizons, and I've been uh, dipping and dabbing in some theater and acting. So what I'm gonna do is a monologue for you. I'm gonna do a monologue, and I want y'all to, if y'all know what it is, I, at the end, I want y'all to let me know, scream up the the name of the play or whatever you feel. All right? Was it your money? Was it your money he gave away? No, no. Did you earn it? Would you have had it all if your father did not die? Then isn't there something wrong in a house, in a world where a dream, good or bad, must depend on the death of a man? I never thought to see you like this, Elijah. But your brother made a mistake, and to him you shall be grateful. So now you can give up the alien human race in account of it. You ask the question, what good is trouble? What good is anything? And why are we all bothering? Where are we all going? I live the answer. In my country, it is the exceptional man that can even read the newspaper or who even sees a book at home. I will go home to my country, to my village, and much of what I have to say will seem strange to my people, but I will teach and work, and things will change slowly and swiftly. At times, it will seem as if nothing changes at all. Then again, the sudden dramatic events which make history leap into the future, then quiet again. Retrogression even, guns, murder, revolution. And I even will have moments when I wonder if that quiet was not better than all that debt and hatred. But I will look to my city and all this illiteracy disease and ignorance, and I will not wander long. And perhaps, perhaps I will be a great man. I mean, perhaps I will hold on to the substance of truth, and perhaps for it I will be butchered in my bed some nights by servants of so-called democracy. Or perhaps I shall live to be a very old man, respected and esteemed in my new mission. Or perhaps I shall hold office, and these are the things I'm trying to tell you, Elijah. Perhaps the things I believe now for my country will be wrong and outvoted, and I will not understand the new terrible things who have things my way, or merely to get power. But don't you see, they will be young men and women, not ready soldiers then, but my own black countrymen to step out of the shadow some evening and slit my damn useless throat. But don't you see, they have always been dead, and that they always will be. And such a thing as my own death would be an advance for those who may kill me even actually only replenish all that I was. Thank you.